Hello fellow cruisers, I'm Peel. Welcome to part two of this two-part series about the history of cruise ships and cruising where we will get into technological advancements, adaptions, and safety features that continue to be added to today's mega cruise ships to improve safety, the passenger experience, and to lessen the negative effects on our environment. If you missed part one where I talk about the origins of cruise travel and the golden age of ocean liners, I will be adding a link to it at the end of this video. In addition, at the end of this video, I will be sharing my thoughts on the difference between cruising in the golden age of ocean liners and cruising today and into the future. Before we embark on this part of the journey, hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any new riveting content. Well then, let's go! New safety features and technology continue to be added to cruise ships every year as new mega ships are built. If you watched part one, you'll remember that I used the Ruby Princess that had its inaugural, cru inaugural cruise in 2008 as a baseline to compare with older cruise ships. The biggest mega ship today carries approximately two and a half times the number of passengers as the Ruby Princess. Wow! And has a passenger to crew ratio of 3, while the Ruby's ratio is 2.57. I wonder if the ratio is higher on these mega ships because service is declining, or is it because of new technological advances that allow passengers to do certain things for themselves without the assistance of a crew member? Similar, say, to a self checkout counter in your grocery store. I couldn't say, but if any of you have been on any of these new mega cruise ships, let me know what you think in the comments so that I can share it with everyone else. Okay, then let's have a look at some of these technological advancements and adaptions. As we cruise through time in the previous video, it was impossible to ignore the signific significant technological advancements that have shaped the industry. From the transition to diesel engines, to the introduction of stabilizers for smoother rides, innovation has played a crucial role in enhancing the cruise experience. Let's explore how these technological leaps have made modern cruise ships marvels of engineering and comfort. I've also gone through the transition to diesel engines that marked a significant advancement, providing ships with greater efficiency, reliability, and fuel economy. Today, the newer cruise ships have adopted liquefied new natural gas, or LNG, as a cleaner burning fluid alternative, reducing emissions and environmental impact and lowering their fuel costs. And to mitigate the effects of ocean swells and provide passengers with a smoother ride, stabilizer technology was introduced and continue to be improved through the years. These devices, often retractable fins beneath the waterline, reduce the ship's role and enhance passenger comfort, especially in rough seas. To improve maneuverability, new propulsion technology utilizing azipods and bow thrusters was introduced. Azipods are a gearless 360 degree steerable propulsion system with an electric motor that is located in a submerged pod outside the ship's hull. By utilizing the azipod system's maneuverability, Cruise ships can direct thrust in any direction with incredible precision, saving time on cutting fuel consumption by up to 10% compared to conventional shaft line systems. Thrusters are designed with propeller fins facing in a sideways direction, so when they're turned on, they push the bow or stern of a boat sideways through the water in either direction, increasing the maneuverability of the ship when docking or departing a port. GPS technology was introduced for precise navigation. This satellite-based system enhances safety by allowing accurate tracking of a vessel's location, course, and speed. Modern cruise ships are equipped with sophisticated radar and sonar systems that contribute to navigational safety, enabling early detection of obstacles, other vessels, and underwater features. Advanced waste treatment systems were added to manage and process sewage and waste responsibly, minimizing the environmental footprint. Satellite communication systems were also added to provide passengers with internet access, mobile connectivity, and other communication services while at sea. 
This has significantly improved the connectivity and communication options for both guests and crew. Smart ship technologies introduced recently to enhance the onboard experience utilize IoT, which stands for Internet of Things. This includes features such as smart cabin controls, wearable devices for navigation and tracking, and personalized services based on customer preferences. Sophisticated energy management systems installed to optimize power consumption, lighting, and HVAC systems contribute to energy efficiency. VR, virtual reality, and AR, augmented reality technologies were added to enhance entertainment options for passengers. VR experiences, interactive shows, and AR navigational guides are becoming more prevalent. Modern cruise ships feature state-of-the-art entertainment venues with advanced sound systems, LED screens, and immersive experiences providing guests with a wide range of entertainment options. Advanced fire detection and suppression systems have been installed to ensure the safety of passengers and crew, along with sophisticated systems to detect and respond to potential man-overboard incidences, enhancing overall safety features. Reverse osmosis desalinization systems have also been installed. This process involves forcing seawater through a semi-permeable membrane to remove salt and impurities, producing fresh, potable water for onboard use. RO systems are efficient in providing a reliable source of fresh water from the, from the abundant seawater surrounding the ship. In addition, when cruise ships are docked at a port, they may also connect to the local municipal water supply using shore connections. This allows them to replenish their freshwater tanks with water from the local source, which is typically treated and suitable for consumption. Growing environmental consciousness has led the cruise industry to adopt sustainable practices. Cruise lines invest in cleaner propulsion technologies, waste reduction measures, and eco-friendly initiatives to minimize their environmental impact and meet the expectations of environmentally conscious travelers. Now, responding to the increasing demand for diverse and high-quality culinary experiences, cruise lines have elevated their onboard dining options. They collaborate with celebrity chefs, offer specialty dining experiences, and incorporate diverse cuisines to cater to the evolving taste of passengers. And recognizing the desire for more personalized and immersive experiences, cruise lines have introduced themed cruises catering to various interests from music and wellness to cultural enrichment. This allows passengers to tailor their vacations to align with their preferences and hobbies. Cruises now place a greater emphasis on cultural immersion and authentic experiences. Shore excursions, local cuisine, and interactions with local communities contribute to a more enriching travel experience, aligning with the preferences of modern travelers seeking authentic encounters. By embracing these adaptions, the cruise industry has now not only met the demands of changing times, but has also positioned itself to thrive in an ever-evolving travel landscape. As consumer expectations continue to evolve, the cruise industry's commitment to innovation and, ad and adaptability will likely remain crucial for its sustained success. Now let me share my views in all of this. Many of these features are welcome and are great for safety, ship maneuverability, fuel economy, and the environment, but I would be remiss in omitting my view on the new features meant to enhance the passenger experience such as IoT technology for internet and wearable trackable tracking devices, specialty dining, specialty shore excursions, and more. All these features sound really good, but they all come at an additional cost over and above the standard cruise fare. The difference, then, between cruising in the past when it was only accessible to the elite as a symbol of luxury and status, and cruising today, is that all these great new features are options to the passenger. Cruising today is very affordable and just as enjoyable with the standard amenities. There are still dining rooms that are included in the cruise fare, along with the buffet and a number of other food venues like pizza, burgers, and ice cream. Alcohol is extra, but if you're like me and not into alcohol, water, coffee, tea, juices, or iced tea are still available to anyone. A well-equipped gym is also included, along with great entertainment. 
from the main theater to the piano bar and to comedy clubs. Every amenity on the ship is fully accessible, including pools, hot tubs, basketball courts, or mini golf. An inside cabin may be smaller, but very comfortable and has everything that you'll need, including a full bathroom with a shower, plenty of closet space, and a very comfortable bed at an affordable price for a retired solo cruiser like myself on a fixed income. I just hope that the cruise lines don't start taking some of these features away as they've done with some of the others and find ways to make passengers pay extra for them to increase their profits. And there you have it folks. From the luxurious ocean liners of the past to the technologically advanced, safer, passenger-centered, environmentally conscious mega cruise ships of today. Costs aside, the evolution is nothing short of remarkable. If you enjoyed this journey through time and my views, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe for more fascinating explorations and until next time, happy cruising!